Hey guys, my name is Thomas Rosalie and in this video we're going to be covering how you can automatically reframe your videos for different social media platforms. So to maximize your reach on social media, you don't want to just post your content onto only one platform, but instead you should try to adapt your footage onto lots of different platforms as well. So for example, if you're going to be making a YouTube video, you could also create Instagram posts or stories or even a TikTok video that can push your audience to watch that YouTube video using the same video clips. So in order to do this, you'll want to reframe your shots so that the most important elements are positioned correctly on the screen for when you change your aspect ratio from widescreen to square to even vertical video as well. Luckily in Adobe Premiere Pro there's a way you can do this automatically. So let's now jump on the computer and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright so I've got Premiere Pro open already and first I'm just going to drag in the clip of me walking in front of this cool facade in Hong Kong. Let's just first cut it to the part we want to use. So I remove the back part by just dragging the end of the clip forwards and then I pick the part I want to start at and then hit Ctrl Command K to cut it, then delete the first part. Then click on the space it left and hit delete to bring the clip back to the start of the timeline. All right, so next I'm going to change the aspect ratio so that it works for Instagram stories. To do this, go up to sequence and then sequence settings then change the frame size to 1080 by 1920 and I also usually like to change the time base to 23.976 fps or even 30 fps. So now as you can see the footage is too small for the frame in terms of height. So if I wanted to fill the frame and also keep me on the screen as well I would have to manually scale the footage up and then add keyframes to the position of the clip depending on where I am at the time of the video. This is very time consuming and not the right way to do it at all. So here's the best way to do it. Let's just first get rid of all the position changes we've done, then go to the effects tab and search for auto reframe. It should be in the video effects and transform folder. Next, all you have to do is drag the effect onto the clip and in no time at all, it's automatically done the work for you. As you can see, now I'm always in frame. Pretty neat, right? Now let's just add the warp stabilizer effect to this too with a no motion result and check out this before and after. Massive difference, right? And it was literally done in three clicks. Okay, let's now try with a different example. So let's drag in this other landscape clip of me following my friend while he's walking. And let's trim it to the part we want to use. So if we didn't use auto reframe, I would just scale the clip bigger and this is what it would look like. bad but there are parts where my friend is out of frame. So let's now add the auto reframe effect and see what happens. As you can see it's done a better job of keeping him in frame especially towards the end. Now here's the cool part of this effect. If there are parts where you think the framing could be better and you want to manually adjust a bit of it, you can click on this overwrite generated path button and all the keyframes Premiere Pro created automatically will appear. So now all you have to do is just use these left and right arrows to pick the paths you don't like and then adjust the position yourself by dragging these X axis and Y axis numbers. Pretty easy right? Let's check out the before and after. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can now edit your content for all social media platforms in a much more efficient way. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this Premiere Pro for social media series and come say hello on my social channels too. See you in the next video.